In this video, I'm giving you different reasons why St. George is a wonderful place to retire. If you're approaching that retirement age, maybe you're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, I'm gonna give you a couple different reasons why you should consider making a move to St. George or even just purchasing a second home here. So as we jump into number one on our list, my name is Cody Steck. I wanna be your favorite Utah realtor. When it comes to buying or selling real estate here in Utah, if you're thinking about making that move, make sure to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. I've helped hundreds of people relocate here to the state and would love to talk to you about this as well. So number one on our list is you have low property taxes. This makes it very affordable to be able to own a home. Now, of course, you're going to have homeowner's insurance and you're going to have an HOA payment that will vary based on what type of property you buy. But generally speaking, the property taxes here are pretty favorable. We're generally in a spot where you're going to be paying roughly a half percent of the value of the home as your annual tax amount. Let me give you an example. So if you buy a million dollar home, we're just going to use some round numbers here. You buy a million dollar home, your tax value on that home is going to be roughly $5,000 per year. This is roughly a half percent of that total value. If you buy a $600,000 home, you're going to pay roughly $3,000. Or if you buy a, let's say a $3 million home, you're going to pay roughly $15,000 in taxes on a yearly basis. This is very favorable. Of course, it's not as low as some other states, but if you're looking at like Texas or Ohio, this is much more favorable. So I know that some states, this will be a massive change for you. Other states, maybe not so much, but it is something that's really nice. It does make it a lot more affordable to be able to own a home here in St. George, even if you're not here all the time, right? Maybe you're moving here permanently. Maybe this is just a second home. You're going to have a lot of options when it comes to that. Next up, number two, you're gonna have a ton of easy access to get outdoors. I don't know about you, but when I get to retirement age, I'm gonna be wanting to spend a lot of time outdoors doing fun things, right? There's no better place to be able to do that than in St. George. You get really good weather for most of the year, right? It's gonna be really hot in the summer, of course, from like say May, end of May, June, July, and August, it's gonna be pretty hot, right? So you might not be doing a whole lot outside during that time. Maybe that's your time to go off and travel. But during those other months from about September through the beginning of May, you're going to have some really nice weather. It's going to be easy to get outdoors and do a lot of fun stuff. You've got national parks, you've got water parks, you've got hiking, biking, climbing, anything that you're into. You know, obviously as you get older, you may do less of those things, but still just getting outdoors, going for a walk is extremely easy, especially when the weather is really nice. And that kind of leads me right into my next thing. Now it's going to be maybe the cliche, typical thing that you'd expect, but we do have a lot of retirement communities here that are attached to golf courses. And there's also a lot of public golf courses as well. I don't know what it is, but retirement, you know, is one of those things that gets associated with golf a lot of the time. And it's something that I think a lot of people like to do, right? I mean, it's a sport that you can play well into your seventies, eighties. I even know a couple guys in their nineties who would get, you know, stuck it out there in golf, you know, at least a couple of times a week. So it's pretty crazy to see how accessible it is. And of course there's no shortage of golf courses here in St. George. So if that's something you're looking for, you're going to have a ton of different options at varying price points and varying, you know, levels of difficulty and also just how nice they are. The other thing that's great about retiring here in St. George is that you're going to be among a lot of other retirees. There's a lot of people from within the state of Utah or even just outside of the state who come to St. George to retire for a lot of these reasons that we've mentioned here. I think one of the biggest things that happens with retirement age people is the ability to get around other people who are also in that same boat, right? If you're a young family, you probably won't relate to a retired person. If you're a retired person, if you're in that, you know, 50, 60, 70 years old, you know, age range, you're probably not going to relate to the 25 year old couple who just had a baby, right? So there's going to be some differences there. And that's why it's important to be in a community where there's other retirees. These are the people you're going to go out to dinner with. These are the people you're going to hang out with, you know, during the day or on a Friday, you're going to go golfing with them or, you know, go on a hike, whatever it might be. These are the types of people that you're going to be spending a lot of time with. And so having more people like that in your community is going to help you continue to socialize and get out there and just really be able to enjoy those golden years of retirement, right? So with that being said, guys, I want to be your trusted real estate resource. If you're thinking about making a move here to Utah, I'd love to help you. I specialize in relocation. If you're thinking about buying a second home here or moving here permanently, we'd love to help with that. We've helped people from all over the world move right here to our beautiful city of St. George, and I'd love to help you as well. My information's here on the screen. Call, text, or email anytime. And with that said, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.